let's just say an average yeah. queen size quilt. Depending on the complexity of the pattern and how much actual quilting is in it, I would estimate 300 hours. That's what? Close to seven weeks, seven and a half weeks. That's working 40 hours a week for one person to do it. There is a style for everybody. Everybody's gonna be drawn to a different technique, different color scheme. Now, you don't have to be Amish to make an Amish quilt. This is a classic Amish style quilt. They always use solid colors, very bright, vivid. In most Amish homes, it's very austere, very plain, very simple living, but this is a way for an Amish woman to show her skills. This is called a Lone Star, and what's remarkable about this is there's a lot of activity in this. It, it just radiates out as a, as a star. Years ago, they didn't want to be too proud. You didn't want to have a perfect quilt. You wanted to have something that had something wrong with it, because in God's eyes, you didn't want to be too perfect, because only God is perfect. There's been kind of a series of uh, quilts called Amish with a Twist. This one's number three. I think there were two previous ones. Um, so it's the same kind of Amish colors that would be in a traditional Amish quilt, but this is not a traditional Amish design. Uh, the technique to make this is paper piecing, which is a very time-consuming, very exact technique to get all those points exactly straight. A very nice example. This is the ultimate scrap quilt. It's a pieced technique and we call it a postage stamp because each of these little blocks is about the size of a postage stamp. It was, it's a great, great way to use up that very last bit of fabric that you just can't quite throw away. It's, it's a sampler quilt. It has lots of different blocks in the, in the quilt rather than all the same blocks throughout the quilt. There's lots of different pieced blocks. So that would be a traditional sampler quilt. This is, this is a beautiful applique quilt. All of these are little tiny pieces that have been cut out and applied to a foundation piece. Yeah, a lot of people like to, to make more feminine looking quilts, but you know what? Guys like to buy quilts too. And they wouldn't be caught dead buying a pink frilly quilt. This is a lovely scrap quilt too, but it's it's a different, whole different feel, you know. It's it's kind of a a charming, keep me warm kind of quilt, whereas this is you just put your put this on your bed for Sundays when company comes over to visit, you know.